In today's episode, we will battle it out against our fierce rivals from AC Academia. It is the Battle of Academia, and we made our very first signing. Let the Fenice rise! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode number 3 of Rise of the Fenice. Since last time where we played 1-1 against Pista Sestro, we played against Farora and lost the game after Pista Sestro. It was a huge shocker, but it was, I had to admit, our lack of, of squad depth was becoming a problem and I had to go out and take a look at the transfer market. The reason I hadn't signed anyone for loan or as transfers yet is because I haven't found anyone I think could is on pair with the level I want. I couldn't find even one player that I wanted to sign. But this time there was a couple and we gave it a shot. We come back to that in a moment. After the loss to Farora, we did win 1-0 against a Serie C team, Sterinas, and moved on in the Cospire Cup. And then we backed up three wins in a row, 3-1, 2-1 and 2-0. And we had the comeback game from Filippo Alakia. Let me show you how that went down. It was against Peftus Miniatori, Alagia made his comeback, immediately getting some impact done, his trademark low crosses and a goal by Safari. Absolutely wonderful comeback from Alagia. What happened five minutes later was he made another assist, a fantastic assist, but it was sadly a dis disallowed goal. And even more sadly was that in the 83rd minute, Filippo Alagia got injured again. This time it was for seven to eight weeks, but he is on his way back. But it could look like that Filippo Alagia, our very, very important player, is very injury prone. As you saw, we won three in a row, and uh, some players have been doing great at the moment. Chiappa. Andrea Chiappa has been playing fantastic, bagging up a couple of goals and assists, great ratings. I said in the last episode he, he's not impressing me with his attributes, but he's been playing absolutely magnificent lately. Getting two goals scored and made one assist. First goal, first goal came in the, in the 40th minute, Safari from the left winger crossing it to the right winger and Chiapa backs 1-0. Actually it was the equalizer 1-1 against Kima Athletic, but then in the 81st minute Andrea Chiapa once again. Masotto with the ball for Marella, crossing it into the box. Chiapa just lays it in close to the post, put close to the post, and finally Chiapa assist for Masotto. Look at this one; it's a beauty. Chiapa and Masotto just powers it up to the top of the corner. Beautiful teamwork, guys. Also, as I said, Anone had a goal drought, but he's back. Scored a goal. Portolano, he's still not there, but we have. Masotto on the bench, who's made some fantastic substitution appearances, scored some goals, scored some assists, all in games he's been sub stopped in, and that's been as a striker and also as a right winger. So Masotto has been doing a great display, and if you can see down here, there's a blue player, first signing this season, it is in on loan, and it is a player from the English Premier League, because in this alternate universe, Nuts County, is playing in the English Premier League and I have borrowed an Englishman which last name I can't figure out how to pronounce. So please any of all you English people hopefully one or two is watching this series could help me. Usually I have no problem by pronouncing English names, last names, surnames, but Stephen, I will give it a shot, Haybergham. Haybergham? That's the best Best uh, shot I can give. I'm not sure how you said that. Hey, bug. Oh, ha, bug. Ha. Please tell me if my pronunciation was uh, on, on point or if it was way off. But look at this player. Only 21 years old in and alone from Notts County. He looks interesting, doesn't he? His mentals is, re is really good. He's not the fastest one, but he's really strong. And he can finish and he can hit. I like what I see. So far he's just been subbed, subbed in one match in the league, he played the game in the cup where he didn't impress at all, but Stephen Haberkam in on loan from Nuts County, hopefully he will add some depth to us, to our strikers. I was looking for uh, some wingers as well to bring in, but 
I'm pretty a little picky about it, but I couldn't find the right the right guys. But this is how we roll at the moment, and this is the starting lineup in the Battle of Akadentia. But let's take a look at our opponents. Now we will jump over to the official Cospire database website and go to the category teams. First thing you'll find is, of course, the kit pack is made by FM Custom Kits. There's a promo code in there. Just use it. Just use it as you want. Mad five to get the five percent discount when you order your custom kits next time from fmcustomkits.com. First team in this list is AC Cadencia, our fierce rivals. They have a larger capacity stadium than, than we have, a 65 capacity stadium, 65,000 capacity stadium. That is, they, they are the hugest club in Akadentia, but we are ready to take them on. Three beautiful kits, especially that third one. I think that's a beauty, but we are playing at home today against AC Akadentia. Let's take a look at some of the players. This is the opposition's manager, Hidetoshi Inyamoto. 69 years old so much experience behind this man and he looks quality still this is the guy i will challenge against today when he is in charge of ac academia let's take a look at some of the players for one we could start out with the top scorer camillo safasnini 36 years old that's another experienced guy he must be dangerous so we need to have an eye out for him there's also ricardo vantatiato 22 years old now this looks like something i could be interested in could be funny to snap sna snap in away, him away from our rivals that's not probably not the easiest thing to do but he looks really really interesting that's also gabriele tria tri arico 24 years old free kick specialist this is some of the players we will need to have an eye out for in today's match also a very experienced central midfielder central defender that is 31 years old he looks really strong we could compare him to our our own central defender uh, Sirigu he may, reminds me of Sirigu there's also a 24 year old Itora Leali 24 years old looks solid not world class but a goalkeeper Flavio Gavazzi 30 years old in his prime look at that wage look at that value so they have some quality. This is going to be such a close match. Can't wait to kick it off. So let's go. So here it is. The two lineups for today's Battle of Akadentia. I really hope the, the home crowd will support us today. We will play for the fans. And here it is. Battle for Akadentia. We are in our beautiful home kit. And they're in there. I think that's the... Is that the home as well? A second? It is the second because the home was darker. But here we go. No worries. Whew. I'm slightly nervous actually. This is a really important match. First of all for the positions. The top five positions of the top of the table. Uh, second of all it is our fierce rivals. It is the Battle of Akadentia. And it did look like there was a bit more people in the stands than usually. Here is Van Giatiato that we took a look at, the winger. He looked quality. He plays the passes the ball back to Di Chiara. There's the top scorer, Safani. And what a save by our goalkeeper, Spinazzola. Great save. Six minutes in. And first chance to AC Akadentia. Now a corner kick coming up. Baba with it. Crossing it in. And it is a finish. Spinazzola. Now he's, he's ready. He's fired up. Sturado with a throw in. Ooh, it's Kakakakiani, it's Kakiani. Goal, 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 goal. Kakiani, that's not the first time this season scoring the central midfielder, and we are up 1 0 against our rivals. 10 minutes into the game. Look at the, the, those people in the stands. It's the first time this season so many people has come to the stands to support their home team. Sturado now with a solid tackle. AC Cadencia still on the ball. Casata, Barba, top scorer Safasnini and Baba again. Baba again, he missed that one, wow. He looks quite dangerous, that Baba guy, huh? I want to take a look at Federico Barba. 27, winger. Looks solid for this level of competition, but 
He has been dangerous from the start of the game, but missed, missed a sitter right there. That was our luck. We had half one shot on target, and that was a goal. We have we have been really efficient so far. 20 minutes into the game, in a moment, it is AC Academia in control again. Tikiara finds Contessa. This could be a cross. Get out there! Come on! Great tackle by our, by our youngster Rossi, but it's still alive. We reject it, we deny it, get it out of there. Okay, great defensive display. We are piling on the pressure early, I think. Five shots, two on target. Now throw in. Chiappa picks it up. Hits it forward. Portolano. Ah, loses the ball too easy. How, how is the ball position in this match for now? 36%. We need to improve that. It's Papa again. This time Spinazzola saves it. What a start to the match for Spinazzola. And Baba, we need to do something about him, he's so dangerous. It's been quite action-packed this first uh, half hour of the first half, but sadly we only had one shot, so it's all coming from AC Academia. And they're in control again. Van Giato on the left flank, stop him. He gets by a player, he runs, and perfect pass to Di Chiara. Baba is on the ball again. This is AC Academia in full domination, Contessa. There we go, we just... Clears the ball, gets some air, but no ball possession. Ball possession is 36% still, 37% now. This is shocking, and we up 1-0. Absolutely amazing. 11 shots, 5 on target from AC Academia. That's a lot in a one half. They have, my my, they have been dangerous. The Spinner Solar have racked up 7.2 in the first half. What do we do for the second half? We can't keep hold on this lead all the match. Half time. I that first half just flew by. My my, what an action-packed, a nervous first half. I think I'm going with this. Actually, could be a chance. Saying that, no changes yet. No changes. I saw a yellow card for CD Gu, our most experienced player in defense. There he is. Uh, that was a bit risky as well. I used to rely on that guy. Hopefully we still can. Second half. I'm so much into this game, I'm not missing a second. Checking out the stats. The ball position is better here in the second half. Safari with a corner. Goes for the short version. Capia Safari. Almost got a chance there. Almost got a shot on, on target. Still 1 0 to us. I can't believe that. How is that? And Safari is really tired now. Not playing well today, we haven't had the ball possession, so that's an obvious reason why Safari hasn't played well. Here AC Academia come again, Barpa, stop that guy, Rossi, Rossi again, 18 years old, look at that left back, and it's the Chiara from outside the box, close one, close one. Okay, let's get Safari out, just some fresh legs, some new player in to do something, and Masato. As I showed you earlier, he's been fantastic in the games I've subbed him in yet, so far. Only 21 years old, really interesting. And Chiapa has also moved to a winger support. Let's go for this. Actually, Masato, he's either, either made an assist or a goal in his last three matches we subbed him in. Could he come in and do something? I'm actually happy we don't see any highlights right now. Could we take the three points? This is the first version of the Battle of Academia. Who should... Who should... Let's do this. Go for the defend. Uh, and let's get the Englishman in. Haybergham. I'll go me, I'm going with Hay Haybergham for now. Please adjust it for me if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Right now it doesn't matter. 20 minutes left of this Battle of Academia. Well. 10 minutes, we're going into the last 10 minutes of this match, we're still up 1-0, believe it or not, here is AC Academia in ball position, we actually, oh, here they come, I'm just getting so angry, ah, what the fuck, Casio Salas, it was too good to be true,
I know a draw wouldn't be bad in this position, but we had the three points. We could touch them, I could feel them. Go away, go away, go away, go away! No. That's unfair, that's fucking unfair. They could, they could have done that earlier in the game, come on. What's up, Triarico? How, how does he get all that room? What happened in defense? One pass from this guy, he had... Vafanculo. We were up 1-0. We were on a massive pressure. We had we have had four shots, one on target. It's absolutely not quite unfair, but it is. Bitachi, come on, do some magic. No, it's over. Yeah, this is a weird one. The mad scientist and Inyamoto, and it is Inyamoto who can celebrate. It's not unfair. Anyway, when you look at this. I'm actually quite surprised they did play so much better than us at our home ground. But we had the lead for what, 70 minutes or something like that. We were playing at home at Cupola di Fenice, but we did lose one to two goals. We are still in that top five, but now in fifth position. And this was a tough one. This was a fucking tough one. So that will be it for now. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. I'm enjoying playing FM21 as a madman. I could play all minute every day at the moment. So I just appreciate someone will take your time and take a look at my videos. Also go to the official Conspire Database website, there's so much stuff to check out, maybe get some save ideas, maybe just check out some amazing kits made by FM Custom Kits, or get the database and play it yourself. I'm enjoying it at the moment, even though we just lost the Battle of Akadensia, but next time. So you know what to do, you know the YouTube drill, get on it, I'll give you a second, ring the bell, yep, press subscribe, yes, share the video. You know it. I love you guys. Peace out. Rise of the Phoenix. We will be back stronger like the Phoenix.